Well, I'm up and out with the sun again. Today there's a little north wind and it's uh, coolish for the middle of July. The bugs, uh, they're still persistent. Just thought I'd uh, take this picture. I'm kind of uninspired this morning. I expected the sun to come up a lot earlier. <laughs> I was going to beat it out uh, like I usually do, thinking it, it comes up a lot earlier and it didn't come up till 545, which for the middle of July seemed a little late for me, but I guess it knows when to come up, and so I'm not going to question <laughs> the larger things in nature, the uh, forces at work in nature, and I never check my phone to see when the... Uh, sun was scheduled to come up so I'm sure it's on schedule even though the day seems a little unusual well I'm out here trying to film some um, small uh, western sand sandpipers I believe they are just a flock I'm, I'm pretty far away but I just saw it, you know, I'd try to film them just to see them moving around in the water in the mud flats here. <clears throat> just to get used to using the video on this long lens. When you, um, one of the things about these lenses here, I can get my shadow on it, but I'll move around this way. Um, there's my, that's what you see. You don't get to look through the lens. That's, of course, the review of it. And then if I play, and then this little section, I moved a little bit. Which I can't move smoothly enough. But um, that's what I'm seeing trying to make sure they're in focus. And I, I got some where I didn't move at all. I just let them wander in front of the lens or in front of the uh, in and out of the image, which is better instead of trying to track them, just let them move, get set up, start the video and let them move. Wow, they're flying now. That'd be nice to have them in the, have them flying in a group like that. I think I'll, turn this off and see if I can get that. So here I've been uh, filming uh, Dowitchers, um, Wilson Phalaropes, and Western Sandpipers. And you can kind of see them there uh, walking around in the mud flats with the uh, iPhone. And uh, so the darker ones are the uh, long-billed dowichers and um, the brighter colored breasted ones. Um, well, there's not, there's one just flew. It's a Wilson Sandpiper. I mean the Wilson uh, Valero. And then down here low, in the picture scurrying about are the uh, west and they just flew western sandpipers i'm trying to show here that i have uh, movement now and uh, actually had two egrets in it with movement which makes it more interesting there he flies well that's cool So I'm filming myself filming something with the larger camera in the rear view finder of that camera with my iPhone. That's kind of a convoluted way of saying it. But while I'm swatting greenheads, a type of horsefly that's trying to take chunks out of me. And every time I swat, I move the pickup bed, which then in turn moves the image. 
but it's kind of an interesting thing I'm doing here. And when the bird flies, it makes it interesting, or when they move, it makes it, when they're not moving, it's not so interesting. It's just a little pond, you know, stagnant, stagnant water and algae and cattails and tulies and kind of um, a little, um, well, uh, a microcosm maybe of uh, life in the marsh, a small little pond and um, so it's got the frogs with their heads popped up here. There's about three or four heads I see, and you'll see the water being disturbed a lot by maybe frogs coming up and going back down. And um, one thing I noticed about the frogs is that when you get up and look at them real close, they are green. I mean, green, green. It's like Kermit frog green. They're not just uh, a shade of green. It's a Dark, it's a vibrant green, which kind of surprised me in a way. And then, of course, we've got lots of dragonflies coming in and out of here. And uh, there was several uh, marsh wrens uh, around in the tulies. And they pop in and out. You can see them. And the yellow throat, common yellow throat was in here. And the song sparrow. And you may see it or may not see it, but there's a muskrat swimming around in here, too. And he goes in the tulies and he comes back out and he swims this way and that way like he's looking for something. He or she, I'm not sure what gender. Uh, but um, the more you sit and watch, there's some dragonflies coming into the scene. And then you'll see a little rustling over here where our marsh wren is stirring things. But I am just of the opinion that the more you sit here and watch and uh, notice things, the more uh, uh, the nature of the place reveals itself. That we're often in a hurry to chase something or see something and we've got our binoculars and our cameras and that. And we're not just reflecting and noticing in a uh, contemplative way. And maybe that's uh, the problem with all travel and all uh, nature, uh, uh, going out into nature and getting a taste of the nature. Is we don't take any time, we are chasing um, sort of rainbows, so to speak, and we're not... Uh, taking time to just be passively reflective without uh, an overactive imagination or notions ahead of time of what we're trying to see or what we're trying to find or what we're trying to experience, but that we just uh, are more passive and receptive in our viewing and then the things reveal themselves. I remember when I was a boy, a young boy, I didn't have an overactive imagination. I simply was in the present, uh, noticing things and enjoying things and not really having a lot of words or ideas attached to those things. So they say children have overactive imaginations. Well, I began to realize that maybe the problem is that adults have overactive imagination, <laughs> that children don't really have uh, in their more primal, pure state, overactive imaginations, they see things because they don't have overactive imaginations. They notice things, but of course they don't have the words to experience, uh, to express what they're experiencing. And then upon reflection as adults about their childhood, they just have a sense of nostalgia, but they don't have words attached to it. So anyway, just some observations.